Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take y'all along with me to the grocery store and we're going to make a couple of good yummy meals together. My name is Brie. I'm the owner and artist of Upcycled by Brie and this is my lifestyle channel. Y'all know I love to go thrifting and junking and create beautiful home decor, but I've got a ton of other hobbies that I want to share here on this channel with you as well. So if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. I've been on my health and fitness journey for about nine years now. My daughter was about a year old when I started. So I've been eating healthy for a long time. But here recently, I'm in my mid thirties. I've been a little stressed out. Also, my diet. I eat a lot of dairy and I think it is one of the biggest causes of my cystic acne. So I get a million comments from y'all and thank you so much about my skin and you want to know my skincare routine. But the truth is I struggle with cystic acne and I have for about a decade since I was pregnant with my girl. So I recently have been having breakouts. I think, like I said, a lot of it is stress induced, um, probably some hormonal stuff. It happens, but I eat a lot, a lot of dairy, sour cream, cottage cheese, creamer, uh, yogurt, <laughs> uh, ice cream, and the occasional bowl of cereal with milk. And all the research I've done about cystic acne over the past decade, one of the biggest causes is dairy. So I'm going to try to cut it out of my diet for a while. I think I really just need to cut it out completely to figure out if that's the cause or not. So, ugh. As painful as that sounds, I'm bringing y'all along with me grocery shopping today and I'm going to pick out some dairy-free options. So if you're dairy-free, um, leave me some comments down below. Are there some brands you love? Are there some like hacks you have for substitutions when it comes to dairy? Um, I just really like dairy and I don't want to cut it out, but I really want my nice clear skin back. Um, it is actually causing like a lot of scarring and stuff on my face kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. So we're going to take care of it. And I figured I would just document the journey with y'all. Figured since I won't be eating dairy, I should probably just, you know, finish this. Clean out the freezer, right? Pulling into the parking lot. It does not seem too busy yet, but we will see once we get inside. Maybe everybody has already come and gone and everything's probably empty. <laughs> oh man. I always have a meal plan, a grocery list, and coupons ready to go and come to my same villains. That's right around the corner. I think this is called Kroger in some places. Here in Kansas, we call it Dillon's. Since we had some snow coming this night, I decided to make a dairy-free banana bread and also a turkey chili, which is super simple. I was busy that day and I knew I could get these two recipes done fairly quickly. Y'all, I went to check out and look, there is literally not even a line. Like what's going on? Where is the snowpocalypse grocery crowd? <laughs> Here is a look at my haul. Elena, my daughter, loves this Pirate's Booty. It's a healthier, like, Cheeto-type popcorn. I really like the texture, too. Then I grabbed these Munchrites, actually at the Dollar Tree, but I threw them in here. Um, the apple cinnamon are really good for a sweet treat, and they're lower on carbs, lower on sugar, good for a little crunchy sweet snack. Elena loves these bugles. She just discovered them. You can stick them on your fingers. We all did that when we were kids, I think. So I grabbed some for her. The panko breadcrumbs are actually for a recipe next week, but I went ahead and picked them up. Uh, this Kekkoman brand is my favorite. I grabbed this cornbread. I was going to make it with my turkey chili, and y'all, I forgot. <laughs> I love Dylan's though, because they do that uh, reduced section here in my store, and I can get some really good deals there. Uh, these chocolate Cheerios were lower on sugar. Elena has been requesting the Cheerios a lot. I grabbed some coconut flour for the banana bread, baking soda, and honey as well. 
And then I love these bagel thins. I love bagels, but like a regular bagel is too much for me. Uh, Cafe Bustello is my favorite coffee of all time. Coconut oil and then some beans and corn for the chili. And of course, diced tomatoes. And I have a pickled problem. Okra are one of my favorite. Sodium is higher on these kind of things, so you have to be careful. But I love them when I need a salty snack. And I also love olives for the same reason. And I put them on my salad a lot as well. They are a decent source of fat. Um, three olives has two grams of fat, so you have to be kind of careful. Here is a look at all of my produce. The red potatoes are for a recipe as well, a sheet pan recipe. These pre-made salad kits are one of my very favorites. It's like a whole salad to go. I don't always use the dressing. Sometimes I'll sub the dressing. I couldn't find fresh basil yet, so I picked up that packaged basil and always making sure I'm washing off my produce. For meat, I grabbed bacon, some ground turkey, I do the 93.7, and some chicken thighs. I like to put all of my snacks in a little crate here on top of my fridge. This makes it easy for me to grab them and also for Elena. Ooh, these little uh, Cliff Coffee bars are a great pick-me-up in the middle of the afternoon. Love dried fruit and fresh fruit always on deck as well. Are the cheese substitutions I picked up. I got a feta crumble, mozzarella, this like a cheese spread, um, the tree line, which I was thinking would be good on the bagels, and then grabbed some plain oat milk and some thick oat milk. I like a little bit of creamer in my coffee. This Chobani was not my favorite, but that simple truth sweet cream was really good. So I'll grab that again. Now, while I was there, I went ahead and grabbed this silicone scar gel. It's called Scar Away. Um, dermatologist recommended. I figured I'd give it a shot and it is working really well. I'll update you guys at the end of the video on that. Leave me a comment down below and tell me where y'all are from. I always love to know. I'm getting some rock salt down. It's a beautiful evening, but I know what's coming and snow is not my favorite, y'all. Well, good morning, friends. A little bit of snow here in Kansas. Good two inches. How's your morning going? Y'all, I came out here. <clears throat> Y'all, I came out here to get my gloves this morning. And guess who left their windows open last night? Yeah, upcycled by Bree. She sure did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's figure this one out. Let's warm up with some banana bread. So I've got frozen bananas here. I toss them in the freezer when they're getting a little too ripe for things like this. Preheat the oven to 350. Third cup of coconut oil, two eggs, about a third cup of honey. I like this raw honey. 
got a tablespoon of vanilla, three flowers here, coconut, regular, and whole wheat. Now, the recipe called for a couple of different things to make it gluten-free. I wasn't concerned about that, so I used what I had. Here is the trash truck struggling hardcore to get down the road. He eventually reversed and gunned it and made it through. Adding to a bowl here, my oil melted. Then I will mix in the eggs, vanilla, and honey and stir that up very well. I have peeled and mashed the bananas in a large bowl, and now I will pour in all those wet ingredients and stir them together. I am not sure why I'm using this little tiny spoon. I must have been really focused on filming. Generally, I would have better mixing tools. It's fine. Now to add in the dry ingredients, I've got all of the flours mixed in with the baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. The chopped walnuts will go on top. Again, really struggling here with my tiny spoon, but dedicated. <laughs> I formed the bread into a loaf on my baking pan and baked it for 25 minutes at 350. Once it came out of the oven, drizzled it with some of the raw honey and topped it with the chopped nuts. Put it back in for about five minutes and voila, here it is. This bread was a little drier than I'm used to with banana bread. I don't know. It was okay. Probably won't make this recipe again. Drop me good banana nut bread dairy free recipes below. Paired it with some bacon and fruit though and it was the bomb.com. Now to prep some chili so it will be ready for the evening. Chopping up a red onion, some peeled garlic. I went easy with the garlic this time and I really did save a step. Not bad. Usually I just buy the garlic clove and peel it myself, but it's a pain in the butt. So time versus money, I might go with the peeled garlic from now on. <laughs> also chopped up some peppers, and I'm just going to soften those in some heated olive oil before adding them to the crock pot. Once the veggies and meat are all browned and softened, I am adding it to the crock pot. Yeah. There goes the kidney beans, some corn, and all of the chili seasonings. I'll drop the recipe to this in the description box below, as well as that banana bread recipe. Stir it all up and let that cook all day long. All right, we've been cooking away all day long. Yes. That's good. I like to add a uh, fresh avocado, a cilantro, and then eat this with some organic blue corn tortilla chips. Of course, you could go more traditional chili route. Um, here in the Midwest, we like to eat our chili with cinnamon rolls too. Drop me a comment below. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> I grabbed these Mexican style shreds to go with my avocado. Yeah, geez. Do you like cheese? Did, did you need something? Did you? You wanted some of that? I don't think you can have that. I think that has soy. No, no soy. All right. See, that's not real cheese, Mom, but I'll eat it. Yeah, right. I'm dropping it when I do this. <laughs> oh, Moo. Here, you poor dog. Super simple, healthy option. And then if I have leftovers of this, I throw it in quart freezer bags and I have some for later. Y'all already know I kept my cans. DIY coming up soon. 
And here is actually the projects I did with the tin cans. This is over on my Upcycled by Bree channel. I will leave a link to that video down in the description box below if you haven't checked it out yet. My skincare routine is super simple. I use these CeraVe products and I love my Duval spinning skincare system. So this device cleans way better than a washcloth individually down into every pore. I don't use it like around my eyes or if I have um, a big breakout, I avoid that area as well. But it's super gentle and cleans really well. I'll leave a link down below. I do have a code for 90% off of the skincare system. Now, I started using the Scar Away, and then I also used the CeraVe uh, moisturizers and the eye cream as well. It's been about two weeks, and I've seen some major improvement with my skin and the scarring. So I think cutting the dairy and being consistent with my skincare has helped immensely. Now, I know y'all are used to seeing more of this image, but remember, there are things about all of us, you know, that we are insecure about and hide, but I wanted to share this journey with y'all because I'm sure there's a few of you out there that are struggling with acne as well. So thanks for joining me today, and I hope this put a little insight into my life, what I'm doing to improve daily. Drop me a comment below of what you'd like to see in the upcoming weeks. Workouts, thrift hauls, uh, shopping, Walmart, Dollar Tree, uh, thrift stores, you name it. I love to shop, <laughs> but I'd like your feedback. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see, and I'll make sure I'm bringing you the things that you like.